five or six years ago I bought these two, two motorcycles and I plan to restore them for my children. It's nice to see how old machines, vehicles vibrated in the past and how smooth and comfortable modern vehicles are able to run. I'm responsible for the rail center engineering. We are developing the suspension parts for rail vehicle boogies and I'm responsible for innovation and digital. The hull bushing is a normal conventional axle guide bushing with a rubber spring. You can see that here in. And the liquid here in the chambers, it's a hydraulic liquid, can pass from one chamber to the other depending of the velocity, of the frequency, of the amplitude. Uh, the technology is not new. The te technology comes from the automotive market. We tested that part after it was developed in the 90s, end of the 90s. And when we had the, the first results in hand, we had to optimize it, obviously. And then after about 15 years after starting the, the development, we could start the serial production. Ein Hall da drauf? Ja. Geht das? The customer can save significant cost. For example, on a normal track here in, in Germany, we calculated for the whole fleet with the usage of eight years of such a hull, hull bushing, an amount of 40,000 tons of CO2 and millions of euro of savings. 100% of the hull bushings are tested before they send out to the customer. From my point of view, this hull bushing will be the future. Most of the new trains will have that hull bushing in. Everything is connected to mobility at the end. This one here, for example, is the, the fuel tank of my six-cylinder Kawasaki. It's the, the type of combustion engine with, with, which vibrates less than all the others. Therefore, I like that motorcycle very much. Knowing all these old technologies, it helps to, to be innovative, to create something new. Trains, vehicles, machines to build the streets, everything keeps us in movement. Mm -hmm.